So we continue with pagination and today we continue from where we stopped. In the previous class, we displayed the total number of items and also the page numbers as you can see right here. So if I increase the size of this, you can see it displays total page 16 and page 1 of 4. Alright, so let's go continue. Now what we want to do is to display the page numbers. For instance, we have 1, 2, 3, 4 and the user can click on these pages to go to that particular page uh, there so to do that we are going to use a loop so to use a loop in time leaf i'm going to kind of make some room here yeah okay so again i'm not going to copy and paste because i need actually to for you to follow exactly this type so i'm going to add a span And inside this span, we are going to have a link that actually this link is now the, the numbers that is going to represent each page. So we are going to have th, uh, let's start with um, hr, ef is equal to parameters, parameters countries, and of course we are using time leap, so it's going to be th, hr, ef is equal to, we are going to use star um sorry this is star but at this at sign here and i'm going to actually i'm going to just copy and paste it because this is kind of taking my time so i'm going to simply copy and paste it and then explain it to you now this space is here nbsp just simply space so you can just uh actually add as much space as you want so here we now have um, so we have th for each number sequence in total pages. So we have pages is a sequence of one to the total number of pages. We are going to display here. We are going to display, uh, we are missing out the last span tag here. So I'm going to add slash span and I'm going to make this readable by shifting here. So for each of the page, we are going to display a link that displays the page number like this okay so uh, when you use double square brackets or uh, square bracket open and close inside you have a dollar sign and, and curly braces and you specify the value the parameter you want to extract the value is going to display that particular value and in this case it's going to loop through the sequence of pages available to display all the page numbers so if i refresh this uh this now we hope to see the page numbers as well. So, if I go back to the page and then refresh this page, we can now see you have one, two, three, four. And if I click on one, it doesn't go because um, let's see what the problem is, where the problem is coming from. Okay, so we have parameters slash countries slash page, but here is parameters slash countries slash page slash one. So this can this is a problem. So let's go to the controller. So we have parameters slash countries slash page. So we are going to add here slash page and slash and also uh, parameters slash countries. So in case of parameters slash countries, we don't need a page number because that is just the first one. So I'm going to run this application now. And now when we click on the page number, it's going to actually go to that very page number. So let's go to test it now to see. So if I just go back here, I refresh the page and I go to page one. And this is page one, as you can see, go to page two. This is page two for Mexico, page three and page four. We have only one item in page four. So this works perfectly well. Now the next steps remain. We are now going to work on the next steps. We are going to now have um, uh, next previous first and last that is something we are going to do in the next part uh, but there's also something else if you look at this place and i click on page one uh go to page two page one is still a hyperlink but actually when it's display, displaying the current page that current page should not be a hyperlink so we are going to fix it in the next part again i'm going to stop here because uh, we are switching on to the next part which i actually wrote on a different page so I'd like to thank you for viewing. Please remember to subscribe to my channel and feel free to leave me a comment if you have any challenges following my class. 
I'm Kainz on the Tech Pro and I'm always there for you.